Hey guys, today I want to show you how to do some basic benchmarking using fraps. And the game I've chosen to benchmark against is Dirt 2. So basically, I want to determine whether the performance of my Ifinity setup using three monitors is much poorer than using one single 24 inch monitor. And fraps is going to allow me to do this. So let's get out of this game. Let me show you the interface of fraps and some of the different options you have in the interface. If you go to the FPS tab here, you can see that all our benchmarking options are listed. You can choose the directory to which you want to save all your benchmarking tests to. You can choose the hotkey in which to enable benchmarking during gameplay. You can select the hotkey as well to display your FPS overlay. And then there are three different benchmarking settings here, each of which will create a different CSV file so you can do some analysis. So your first one is FPS, which will display the frames per second at each second of gameplay. The second one is frame times, which will display the time at which each frame was captured. So this will be a very long file. And your third is min, max, and average, which is basically a results summary page. And the last option here is to stop benchmarking after a specific amount of time. So this is very useful so that you can enable um, benchmarking during gameplay by hitting F11 and then just continue playing the game knowing that well after 60 seconds the benchmarking would have completed and created these three files for you. So this is what I did for my benchmark testing. So now let's go to an example. I've gone and done some benchmarking already so we'll go to my benchmarking folder and here you can see two different folders that I've created and dropped my different benchmarking files into. So the test I did was I took one monitor at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and I ran Dirt 2 for one minute. And then I did the exact same thing but on three monitors using my ATI Ifinity setup. Now I was e easily able to switch between the two resolutions by using this option in my Catalyst Control Center for my ATI graphics card which was to re-enable iFinity display groups. So switching from the one monitor I'm currently recording this video at to using three different monitors, creating one large resolution. So let's take a look at some of these files. So if I go into the one monitor folder, there are three different files which correspond to these three benchmarking settings we saw in our FRAPS settings. So the first one is FPS. So this shows the different frames per second at different game time seconds. So you can see the kind of range between approximately 104 frames per second and somewhere in about 81 frames per second on, on the low end. So this is well above the 30 frames per second that the human eye can detect. So now if we go to the next file, frame times, you can see that it lists the time at which each frame occurred. So I don't know exactly what the use of this file is, but it's kind of neat. I guess it's some extra information. You can notice that this file is very, very long. So you're hitting about 580 frames in that 60 seconds of capture time that we had set in our FRAPS settings. So now if we go to min, max, averages, this is our results page. So you can see that we hit 580 frames in our 60 seconds of capturing with a minimum frames per second of 81 and a maximum frames per second of 106 and our average was approximately 85 frames per second. So now we're going to go and compare this data to our three monitor setup and see how slow our affinity setup was or how great a performance it actually is for this system. So if we look at our frames per second file, you can notice already the values are much lower than using one monitor. Look at our frame times. Can't really tell too much from this unless you were to in-depthly analyze these numbers. Um, but you can notice that by scrolling down, we're already noticing that we're not getting as many frames in those, in those 60 seconds. So this is already telling us something. Now if we look at our results page, you notice that we hit 2,925 frames in the 60 seconds of capture um, at which we hit a frames per second of 39 at one point on the low end which is still above 30 frames per second but it's getting pretty close which means that the system is just handling these three monitors in Ifinity um, running Dirt 2 on high resolution.
and on the max end we hit 55 frames per second which is a great average but our average ended up coming out at uh, approximately 49 frames per second which is still okay so this was a good side-by-side -side analysis of um, using one monitor versus three monitors it's a good way to sort of benchmark your system now perhaps you you want to do a different sort of benchmarking which you, you only you're only using one monitor you know you got your frames per second um, of let's say you know your your 85 frames per second and then you wanted to go and uh, run your your graphics card in SLI or perhaps add another stick of memory and then run these tests again and then see what your performance difference is so these are the sort of um, concepts that you can do using uh, Fraps's benchmarking tool. So anyways, if you found any of this useful, please like the video, um, subscribe if you want to see any more videos, and uh, please check me out on Twitter. I'll see you guys again later. Bye.